Good morning. You know that cozy feeling when you have a cup in your hand and it like just feels just right? That's how I feel with this one. Like it's the right size. It feels good when it's nice and warm. Even if my drink were to get cold, I just, I like the size of this cup. And I feel that way about a lot of my dishes. I picked this one up from like Big Lots, which is a store that's not even open anymore, but um, I really enjoy that. So I hopped on Amazon this morning. We're really close to Black Friday. And I just wanted to see if anything in my save for later cart had dropped in price. And some things had, and I was pleasantly surprised. I say some things, there were like more than 30 items that had dropped in price, which tells you I probably have too many things saved in my cart. <laughs> And so I need to address that because some things I just want, but I don't really need. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'll put it in my cart and save it for later. Um, but one of the things that had dropped in price were my meal bowls. And so I want to show those to you. We just got these, oh, about a month ago or so. And we've been using them a ton. I actually bought them for my husband for his half birthday. Yes, we do those kind of gifts. Um, it is from Corel. All of our standard dishes that we use in our everyday kind of stuff are Corel. I use Corel. Um, they're great with the kids and everything, but also like when we're serving for company. I used to have a really beautiful hutch right here. Now I have beautiful cabinets my husband just built. These just got finished this last week. I still need to find maybe some handles for them. I'm not sure yet, but absolutely love those. But I used to have a great big hutch here filled with all kinds of fancy dishes, dishes for serving, um, dishes like tableware for hosting. And one day I was just like, you know what? I am like on this minimalist path. However, I have a weak spot for dishes and apparently I still do. <laughs> but um, I got rid of all the different types of dishes and I was like, I'm just gonna go with white Corel because they can be used no matter the occasion. I can just change out the tablecloth or different decor on the table and still just put on white dishes and like you can totally change the vibe of it without having to buy more dishes. <laughs> now, if you are somebody who likes to get different dishes for different occasions, check your thrift stores because they probably have them. And even as somebody who is a mold survivor, I can typically get dishes, run them through the dishwasher, get the smells or anything off of them and I'm okay with those. So. Anyway, back to what I came here for. <laughs> the meal bowls were on sale. And so I thought, I did like some stories on Instagram showing all of my different dishes and what we use. And I was like, let me pull this over to YouTube and show you guys as well in case this is helpful for you. So I know I wish I had a comparison like this when I had been looking for dishes in the first place. So these are the 20, no, sorry, 30, 30 ounce meal bowls. Um, it's, it's like a cross between a bowl and a plate because it is, flat, there's plenty of flat surface here, but then it also has a, a lip to it, kind of a rim. And so we love these for, we call them like our taco bowls or fiesta type bowls where we put in like rice and beans and meat and like black olives and cheese and onions and like all the toppings to make like a nice deluxe taco bowl. And so they've worked really great for that. We love that. Now actually the bowls I had bought originally to do tacos in when we have company were this one. So we've used, this is a, I hope I get this right. I'll put it in the description in case I don't. I think this is a 28 ounce um, bowl. It's a soup bowl, again, from Corel. We bought these several years ago to use for like Christmas when we'd have company over and do like big soups or we'd have birthday parties with tacos. And I was so tired of buying disposable. Like it's not great for the planet, right? And it's like, we're using it and we throw it away. Yes, there's certain places where that works fine for, but like for having our family here, I just wanted to use real dishes. And so we bought these. I will say you cannot fit like in our dishwasher anywhere. You can't fit as many of these in there as you could a regular cereal bowl. Um, and so that's like, oh gosh, what would a regular cereal bowl be? I don't know, 20 some, 18 ounces, probably 18 ounces. Um, this one's a little dirty, needs to be cleaned a little bit better. Nice because it holds more. And so let me set down the meal bowl. Okay, I'll show you. Let me just show you all the bowls real quick in my hands. We've got dessert bowl, which is like your mini bowl, cereal bowl, that um, like bigger soup bowl, and then the meal bowl. And so what I liked is that between these two, when we'd have company, some people would like go back up several times to have to fill their bowl, right? Some people would be like, oh no, I shouldn't get any more. And like, they would feel bad going back up depending on their personality, right? So you just give your guest a great big bowl, let them fill it how much they want to. And if they want to go back up, great. And if they don't, that's okay. You know, you've given them a bowl big enough that they can get a substantial meal if they choose to. So that's what I like about these. 
Also, I had, like I said, in that great big hutch, all kinds of serving dishes, which is still a weakness of mine. Love to go to the thrift stores and find cute serving dishes, use them for six months or a year or two, and then put them on a garage sale and do it again. It's just kind of this cycle, but I, it's something I enjoy. Um, but I loved that these can also be used for serving. I can open up a bag of crackers, throw them in here, a few cans of olives or cheddar cheese shredded up for tacos, that kind of stuff. So if we're not using these for eating out of, they also make a good serving dish. I would say that with all the Corel. They make good serving dishes. You can put like muffins on your plates and that kind of stuff. So love them for that. So, okay, here are the different bowls. Like I said, I will link all of these down below so you can see them. I set that one down a little hard. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, now let's talk plates. So we have lived in our home 19 years. I was 19 when we moved in, I'm 38. Hopefully that math adds up. Let me know in the comments if it doesn't. But we've been here 19 years. And when we first moved here, we had these 10 inch dinner plates. That's kind of like what everybody has, that's standard, right? Um, and then after having some babies and stuff, I just, I was trying to lose weight and I was reading about how like eating off a smaller plate can help you have smaller servings. And so I bought these, these lunch plates. And um, we ended up just like with kids, especially, we switched to just using these for our everyday plates. <laughs> we definitely got a hard time from our parents and friends when they'd come over and they're like, so we're eating off the kids' plates? I'm like, yeah, sorry, I'll get you the big plates. <laughs> and even still today, we keep our dinner plates in our hutch and we keep these kid plates in our cupboard. Let me show you, again, I got a little interruption there. The different sizes, this is appetizer, lunch, and dinner. And it really does make a difference, even just that like two inches between or whatever it is between each plate. So these we store in the bottom of our hutch. We sold the top of our hutch because um, we didn't need the top when I got rid of all the extra serving dishes. Also, it was kind of tipsy for our little toddler. So um, we have the bottom of our hutch actually over in our living room and we have our TV on it. It's beautiful, it works great. I can show that to you in just a minute. So we save those more like for company or for serving or if there's like a really big steak we need to cut or something, but we don't use those quite as often. But I think I have 38 of those plates. And so we do save them for bigger gatherings. Um, the lunch plate and ooh, the lunch plate and the appetizer plate are like our daily use. These get used all the time. Um, this one is like more for the younger kids. This is more for us and we love that. Now I will say we don't use plastic. I try to avoid plastic at all costs in our like everyday kind of dishes use. We don't have like plastic kids cup or plastic kids plates. My now 12 year old, when she was little, she would love to flip her bowl over and make music with the Corel ones. Um, and I was a younger mom and I was kind of naive and she one time she hit it and it cracked and thankfully it was just a crack and it wasn't like a massive terrible thing. But because of that, um, we decided we'd get some stainless steel for the kids to eat up. So I think I have like maybe 24 of those because I also like these for when we're serving, like for a party to put desserts in. It's just good for little kids. Um, even good for adults if they want to sit on the couch. It's got a little bit of a lip to it so they can like hang on to it while they eat with it. Um, we went to a restaurant years ago. It was called Hickory Park down in Southern Iowa. And we had some kind of like a banana split or some type of an ice cream dessert. And they're kind of known for this there. And it was so good. And the experience was just amazing. And they served out of these little, theirs are a little bit more round, but stainless steel dishes. And I remember telling my husband like, oh my gosh, like I love these. I was in my young 20s, okay? And I'm like, I really wish we could get these, but I'm sure you have to get them from like a restaurant supply store or something. And I had no idea. You could just go on the internet and order dishes. <laughs> And so um, anyway, he's like, well, why don't you look for some and get some if you really like them? So that's when we originally had gotten these and then um, definitely ended up being a necessity. We got them just at the same time that that toddler was into her like music making at the dinner table kind of stage. And so these have been awesome. A couple times I've thought about selling them. I'm like, we don't use them that often. However, now I'm at the stage, our youngest is one and a half, our oldest is 22, and I, I hope and pray at some point there will be grandkids on the horizon, and I would want to use these for grandkids. So we use them a little bit now. I hope I'll get to use them a whole lot more in the future. 
So I just wanted to give those kind of honorable mention. I don't even remember where I ordered them from. Um, I will hold them here if you wanted to like Google lens them or something and try to scan and see. I mean, they're you know about this size compared to my hand. Really, really nice dish. I like that. So um, I think I will go ahead and like set these up maybe on my wall over there and just kind of do a pan across and let you see the different sizes together. I did, like I said, record a little video on this and put it on my Instagram stories. Um, but this is YouTube, and so I don't know how long I will keep a highlight going there. So let me just, let me do that for you so you can see those over there. I hope you don't mind if I give you a quick real life, large family look at how we store our dishes. We've got some plates and bowls down low where the kiddos can reach them here. And then um, we actually took the doors off of our cupboard because sometimes dishes were getting put away a little bit damp and so they weren't drying well enough. And that has been years and years ago and I really love this being so open like this. So we've got the dishes down low where the kiddos can reach them. We've got some like essential oils and stuff back there. And then we use mason jars for drinking glasses mostly, except for these cute glasses that we won at a little carnival. Enjoy this little camp out fort put together by my kids. Here is that lower half of our hutch that we're now using as a TV stand. I did have to take the lower knobs off so the toddler wouldn't be able to get into them. Here is where we store those larger dinner plates. And we've got actually a little bit of our lunch plates in there too. And then a tiny bit of disposable just in case we needed that for something. Hopefully that was helpful for you to be able to see all of the different sizes. I had wished so much that when I was 19 and picking out things for our home that I just had a better idea. I mean, I was able to go to Walmart and kind of look at them, but a better idea of what we would use. But you know what? Our family size changed. We moved here with just three of us. Now there are seven. We had just a toddler. Now we have toddler up to adult. We host more company than ever before. And so maybe it doesn't matter. Lifestyle has changed, right? Just do what you can where you're at. Pick what's best for you right now and just go for it. And then always be trying to do things just slightly better. If you have any questions at all, post those down below in the comments. I'm always in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I love chatting with you and seeing the community you build with each other too. That is just so much fun, so sweet. Thanks for watching. And as always, go out and do something awesome. See ya.